Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the Movie Hangout, and today we're going to be talking about Henry Cavill as Superman. Is he going to be Superman? We heard that he was, then he wasn't, then he was, and then he wasn't again, and now it's up in the air, or then he may not be. What's going on with him and James Gunn, Warner Brothers? It just feels like we're living in the Twilight Zone right now. Absolutely insane, but before I jump into that, if you're going over, click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, comment and like this video. I want to know what your opinion is on what we're going to be talking about. Okay, so we got a lot of mixed messages on social media about the up the uh, upcoming James Gunn led DC universe. Zack Snyder was originally involved in it. I personally really enjoyed his universe, especially with Superman. Wasn't really that big into Wonder Woman or Aquaman or any of the other characters, but Superman has always been the key to that universe. You know, Ben Affleck as Batman I thought was actually pretty good, but still, it's always been about Superman. So who you're going to have as that character is, I mean, it's the keystone to the whole thing. If, if it's not a good uh, fit, if the actor it doesn't look the part, isn't a good actor you know, it behaves just like in a crazy way, like Ezra Miller does, who plays the Flash, then the whole thing's gonna fall apart. So to me, I think that Henry Cavill is the true embodiment of the character. I mean, for Warner Brothers to not already have like six movies, six standalone Superman movies, forget all the cameos and other uh, the other DC films, he should be on like easily number six. Christopher Reeve, was in, I think, four or five Superman movies. And that was back when it was a lot more difficult to crank those those films out. There were no, you know, CGI, VFX, special effects back then. You just had like a campy blue screen, green screen. And then you they had to use like miniature models and all that stuff. And he had to do a lot of his own stunts. Now you can actually crank out the content even more, even faster and cheaper and of better quality if you're willing to do the work. Um, but as of now, we only have the one Man of, it's hard to believe that there's only one standalone Henry Cavill Superman movie, Man of Steel. Henry Cavill announced on his social media that he, uh, in October, he was gonna be back wearing the red cape again. Everybody was going crazy. I was like, yes, finally, finally, the long wait is over. Warner Brothers is going to be under new management. They're going to be doing the right thing. They're going to be just playing. I mean, it's like the easiest way to make seven hundred fifty to a million to a billion dollars. Just have Henry Cavill wear the red cape, do something. It doesn't even have to be that amazing of a story, and people are going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I mean, the guy's awesome. Good actor, looks the part, interviews well. He's appreciative of the fans. He doesn't bash the audience. It's crazy that that has to be even said now, but most actors, directors, I mean, they talk poorly about people that pay their hard-earned dollar for a ticket. And then they, they're like baffled why nobody buys it, right? It's crazy. But so James Gunn, I guess, does not want to move forward with Henry Cavill. So this is what has been said. James Gunn writing new Superman film. Henry Cavill will not return but I'd to play a different DC character. No idea what that could possibly be, but so it says things are heating up in Metropolis as DC Studios co-head James Gunn has announced he is writing a new feature film about Superman. In step with the new project, Gunn has also revealed that Henry Cavill will not return as the superhero. Peter and I have a DC slate ready to go, which we couldn't be more over the moon about. We'll be able to share some exciting information about our first projects that will be in the new year. Among those on the slate is Superman. In the initial stages, our story will focus on an earlier part of Superman's life. So the character will not be played by Henry Cavill. That makes zero sense to me because he's making it sound like Henry Cavill is like too old to play younger. I mean, the dude can still pull off like late 20s. I mean, with the de-aging, he could be like early 20s. So that makes zero sense to me at all. 
in early, I mean, what what is this going to be like the grade school years? Is it going to be like Superman, the wonder years? He's in grade school and, you know, he's trying to get a date with Lois Lane or whatever. And I mean, focus on, I, I mean, it's just, but, but we just had a great meeting with Henry and we're big fans. That's what, that's what everybody says to you when they're telling you no. They don't want to. They don't want to say no, so they're just saying like, "We love you." It's just you know we're a big fan, you know. It's just not. It's just things are happening different. You know that that's basically what that is. And we talked about a number of exciting possibilities to work together in the future. That's a nice. That's a nice way of saying. That's Hollywood for saying, "We don't want you. We don't want to work with you. We don't want you on the project." We want to take this a new route and there might be a chance in the future, but probably not. That's basically what that means because the, the exciting possibilities to work together in the future. I mean, you think you could come up with a better line than that, but that's, that's what this business is. Sources close to DC told Variety that Gunn uh, is co-president Peter Safran and Cavill met recently and are all energized to find something in the comic book universe for Cavill to tackle. He already has something. He has the best thing, Superman. I mean, in the DC universe, the two best characters to play are Superman and Batman. There's no mystery to that. I mean, that's what you want to go for. If you want to play, you know, the best secret agent, right? You would shoot for the moon. You would shoot for, you would shoot for James Bond, right? You wouldn't take some side character. In the Marvel Universe, you know, in the, in the Marvel Universe, there's maybe more, you know, variety that you would want to be. Wolverine is like right up there. I would say definitely Spider-Man is probably at the very top. You have some others as well, but in the DC universe, I mean, come on. Of course, everybody wants to be Superman or Batman. It says, uh, and, then, and then here's Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill put out the statement here, so I'm going to go on over. Quote, I have... I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Safran, and it's sad news, everyone. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman. After being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that. James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happiest of fortunes. For those who have been on my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for still exists, for now at least, I guess. And the examples he sets for us are still there. My turn to wear the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, onwards and upwards. I mean, that's just such a gentlemanly way of talking about how disappointed you are, right? And that that's a reason why I loved Henry Cavill as Superman. That's why hundreds of millions of people love him as Superman, because he has just like a sense of dignity. He's not like throwing F-bombs on on social media. He's not bashing James Gunn. He's not bashing Warner Brothers like some of the other actors were. He's not accusing them of anything. Just a very classy way of putting it. But the, the problem is, is that the, the Superman character can be changed. His beliefs and his ideals can be changed. I mean, it's up to Warner Brothers, it's up to the people that are making the, de the decisions at the studio who own the property. And unfortunately, um, the old, you know, the, the best, you know, uh, truth, justice in the American way, being optimistic, being I idealistic, um, may not be the route that they're going to go. And if you look at a lot of the other films that, 
Hollywood has been cranking out. They love pessimistic, cynical, angry, angry at everybody, anti-human, anti, you know, or I shouldn't say anti-moral, but just kind of like amoral, like, you know, you, there are no real morals type of characters. They love that. And I could easily see when they cast this character that they go down just like like a a path like that that is the exact opposite of what this character stood for and when it does if if they do do that there is no way on earth i'm going to be paying for that uh, in the comment section let me know like if they go down that route would you give your hard-earned money for that i sure as heck wouldn't now there still is a, there still is a chance henry cavill can come back as Superman. I mean, it's totally possible because James Gunn is very active on social media. He's very aware of what the general public, the paying audience, the paying public. I shouldn't even say general public because gen then in, in the general public, the majority of those people would just whine and complain and they want just ridiculous things that are never going to sell. It don't make any sense. The paying public wants Henry Cavill. Hands down. Hands down. 90%, 95% plus, uh, because he just does a, fan, a phenomenal job. Uh, but if they go down the route that they may go, that negative route, anti-American, anti-moral route, um, it's going to tank. It's going to tank like, like all the other stories have that have come out, uh, all the other films that have come out. I mean, what people want, they want... Like top, you know, like Top Gun. Top Gun is that type of maverick, that type of movie that has all those ideals, all those traditions and morals that people want to see, that people need. When times are hard, you have to fall back on things that work. Those things all work. That's why Superman works. That's why even Batman works. He has a strong sense of morality. And People like that. Even though it's a darker character, he still has that ingrained in him. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But again, let me know. How do you feel about them giving the cold shoulder, lead, leading on Henry Cavill and leading on hundreds of millions of fans all over the world about this? And then just kind of being like, sorry, we're not doing it. Let me know how you think about what you think about that, how you feel about it. Let me know. Um, would you go see somebody else who's been cast as Superman? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you want to get future rants, reviews, or original content, click subscribe. Later.